Hi everyone, and in this episode, we're gonna talk about post-finasteride syndrome, or PFS as some people refer to it, and how, you know, how can we quantify this? So stick around for more information. Hi everyone, welcome back to the show. Uh, one of the things that people genuinely worry about when they're losing hair and they're considering starting on therapy is specifically related to starting on 5-alpha reductase inhibition therapy. So an example of that would be finasteride, or there's the other example is dutasteride as well. And a lot has been written online and people have documented uh, cases of something called post-finasteride syndrome. And what that relates to is the fact that they've started on therapy, they developed side effects. Most commonly the side effects that people talk about are sexual side effects, so loss of sex drive, loss of libido, and no guy wants to, to hear that. And one of the fundamental things that we do if we, if we have patients that experience those, and remember the incidence of that itself is very low, but if we do get patients that have started on therapy and experiencing side effects, then we get them to, to either reduce the dose of the therapy or stop the medication altogether. And postfinasteride syndrome is basically looking at a group of people that have started the medication, experienced side effects, have stopped taking the medication, but continue to experience side effects long after the medication has ceased. And look, there's a lot of, that's been written about it. Uh, people, you know, people would have who experienced this are obviously going through a very difficult time. So I've titled the talk you know, is the incident significant? And it's meant to be read in two ways. I mean, I'm specifically relating to the word uh, significant in terms of uh, the prevalence of it, not in terms of how that person feels. Of course, no matter how small the incidence is, if you are someone that is experiencing side effects, even if they're long or short-term side effects, the significance of that is going to be huge to that individual. And so I absolutely understand that and I think it's really important and this is why it's really important that you make sure that if you are on therapy, if you are commencing on therapy, if you are being managed on therapy, that, that you're managed by someone who's able to give you advice, who's experienced in this field and who can advise you appropriately in this manner. But if we look at the figures of the incidence, statistically speaking, of postfinasteride syndrome, it is relatively low. And the number of people that experience side effects, most of them will, the side effects will cease after stopping the medication. But there are a group of people who have, who continue to have side effects. Now, studies have been done and they've looked through the data and they have said that uh, it seems statistically similar to the incidence of erectile dysfunction in the general population anyway. What that means is potentially that being on any sort of 5-alpha reductase inhibitor potentially, and what, this is one argument, could have unmasked a erectile dysfunction issue that was going to later potentially emerge. And this has certainly brought it to the uh, limelight sooner rather than, than later. Now, again, it is not that we're trying to minimize the significance of that to the individual. But understand that the risk of uh, long-term side effects, if you're starting on finasteride therapy, is genuinely very low. And certainly the risk of long-term side effects is also exceedingly low, but real and also should be managed appropriately and get, you should get good advice. There is no way that I'm aware of anyway to predict A, who will get side effects and B, if they will be long term. So again, it is not about uh, you know, discounting it completely. There is uh, space for this as a treatment option. There are tens of millions of people who are currently on uh, this therapy who are having a very successful time with it. It is about getting good advice and being managed appropriately. So the risk is small, but potentially the upside, upside for most people is significant. Make sure you get good advice.
Thank you very much. Thank you.